In this video, we're going to focus on balancing redox reactions, but within basic solutions. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to balance it under acidic conditions, and then we're going to add hydroxide to both sides, and it's going to work out as if we balanced it under basic conditions. So let's begin. Let's start with this reaction. So zinc metal reacts with bromate to produce the zinc plus 2 cation and bromide. So under acidic conditions, what's the first thing we should do to balance this reaction? So the first thing we need to do, we need to separate this reaction into two half reactions. So let's start with zinc. Zinc is going to convert into the zinc plus 2 cation. Now the number of particles or zinc particles they're already balanced. We have one zinc particle on each side. So we need to balance the charge. The charge on the right side is zero, but the charge on the left side is plus two. So the difference between these two numbers is two. So we need to add two electrons, but we're going to add it to the side with the higher charge. So we're going to add it to the right. If we do that, the net charge on the left side and on the right side will be the same. It's going to equal a charge of zero. So now, Let's balance the second half reaction. So bromate converting into bromide. Now to balance this half reaction under acidic conditions, we are allowed to add H plus and H2O to balance the atoms first. So we have three oxygen atoms on the left. Therefore, we're going to add three water molecules to the right side so that the number of oxygen atoms are the same. So we have three oxygen atoms on both sides right now. But by adding three water molecules, we've added six hydrogen atoms to the right side. So we need to add six H plus ions to the left side. Now, once the number of particles or atoms are balanced on both sides, we can now balance the charges by adding electrons. The total charge on the right side is negative one. The total charge on the left side, so we have six hydrogens each with a plus one charge. So six times one is plus six, plus the negative charge from the bromate ion. So six to negative one, the net charge on the left side is plus five. So the difference between five and negative one, if we subtract those two numbers, five minus negative one, the difference is positive six. So we need to add six electrons to the side with the higher oxidation state or the higher charge, in this case the left side. So now we've balanced the second half reaction. So now what do we need to do at this point? At this point we need to balance the number of electrons. So notice that we have six electrons on the left and two electrons on the right. So let's multiply this equation by three. So it's going to be, we're going to have three zinc atoms, three zinc cations, and now we're going to have six electrons. So if we add these two equations, the number of electrons will cancel. And so it's going to be 3Zn plus 6H plus plus Br, this is a 3, BrO3 minus, and that's going to turn into 3 Zn plus 2 plus Br minus plus uh, 3 water molecules. So this is the balanced reaction under acidic conditions. Now to get the answer under basic conditions, what we're going to do is we're going to add 6 hydroxide ions to both sides. The reason why we're going to add 6 is because we have 6 H plus ions. H plus plus OH minus will give you H2O. So let's add six hydroxides to the left side and let's add six hydroxides to the right side. So on the left we're going to have three zinc atoms. Now six H plus plus six hydroxide ions is equal to six water molecules. And then we're going to have uh, one bromate ion. And on the right it's still going to be three Zn2 plus 
plus Br minus. But we're also going to have six hydroxide ions and three H2O uh, molecules. So now what we're going to do is we need to subtract both sides by three water molecules. Notice that we have H2O on both sides. So on the left side, we're going to take away three water molecules. And on the right side, we're going to take away three. If you want to know why it's three, you look at the number of water molecules on both sides. We have six on the left, three on the right. And then you want to subtract it by the smaller of these two values. So now we have our final answer, which is 3Zn plus 3H2O plus BrO3 minus bromate and 3 zinc 2 plus cations plus 6 hydroxide ions plus Br minus. So that's how you can balance a reaction under basic conditions. So if you notice, uh, we have 3 zinc atoms on both sides. We have 6 hydrogen atoms, 1 bromine atom, and notice that we have a total of 6 oxygen atoms. 6 here, 3 in bromate and 3 in water. So all of the atoms are balanced and if you look at the net charge, notice that the net charge on both sides is the same. On the left side the net charge is negative 1. On the right side we have 3 times plus 2 which is plus 6, 6 times minus 1 which is negative 6, plus 6 and minus 6 is 0, and then we have a negative 1 charge from the bromide ion. So on both sides, the net charge is negative 1. So we know this reaction is balanced. The number of atoms are the same on both sides, and the total charge is the same on the left side and on the right side. So now let's try another example. So iron metal reacts with the perchlorate ion to produce uh, Fe plus 3, or 3 plus, plus the uh, chloride ion. So go ahead and balance this reaction under basic conditions. Feel free to pause the video, try this example yourself, and then unpause it when you're ready. See if you get the right answer. So what we're going to do first is we're going to balance it under acidic conditions. So let's start with Fe. Fe turns into Fe plus 3. And we need to add 3 electrons to the right side to balance the charge. So we're done with that half reaction. Now let's start with the uh, next half reaction. So perchlorate it's going to turn into uh, chloride. Now, we're going to balance this under acidic conditions first. So we're going to start by adding water molecules. How many water molecules do we need to add to this reaction and to which side should we add it to? Notice that we have more oxygen atoms on the left side. So we're going to add four water molecules on the right side so that the number of oxygens are balanced. But now notice that we have eight hydrogen atoms on the right side. So we need to add 8 hydrogen atoms to the left side. So we're going to add it in the form of 8 H plus ions. Now the last thing we need to do for this half reaction is that we need to balance the number of electrons. So let's find the total charge on each side. On the right side, the total charge is uh, negative 1. On the left side, we have 8 times 1, which is plus 8, plus the negative 1 charge from the perchlorate ion. So we have a net charge of positive 7 on the left side and negative 1 on the right side. So if we subtract these two numbers, 7 minus negative 1, that's the same as 7 plus 1. So the difference between these two numbers is 8, which means that we need to add 8 electrons to the second half reaction. So to which side should we add those 8 electrons? To the left side or to the right side? So keep in mind, always add the electrons to the side with the higher charge. So we're going to add it to the left side. And in the other half reaction, notice that the electrons are on the right side. So therefore, in the second half reaction, it has to be on the left side. They cannot both be on the same uh, sides. Whenever the electrons are on the right side, the reaction is oxidation. You have an increase in oxidation state from 0 to plus 3. And you can see that iron is losing 3 electrons because it's on the right side. Whenever the electrons are on the left side, you have a reduction half reaction because it involves a gain of electrons. And notice that the oxidation state of chlorine decreases from 7 to negative 1, so it's a reductive process. Now that we have each half reaction balanced, now what we need to do next 
is we need to balance the number of electrons because they're unequal uh, for this reaction. So how can we do that? So we have three electrons in the first half reaction and eight in the second. The least common multiple between three and eight is 24. So we're going to multiply the first one by eight and the second one or the second half reaction by three. So then what we're going to have now is going to be 8Fe and 8Fe3 plus plus 24 electrons. And here we're going to have uh, 24H plus plus 3 perchloride ions plus 24 electrons, which is going to give us 3 chloride ions and 12 water molecules. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, the two half reactions together. But let's make some space first. The number of electrons is going to cancel. And so on the left, we're going to have eight iron atoms plus 24 H plus ions and uh, three perchlorate ions and eight Fe3 plus cations and uh, three chloride ions and finally 12 H2O molecules. So notice that this reaction is balanced. We have 24 hydrogen atoms on both sides, 3 chlorine atoms, 12 oxygen atoms, and 8 iron atoms. And if we check the total charge, let's make sure it's the same on both sides. Here, this is plus 24, negative 3, and uh, let's see, 8 times 3 is also 24, and we have a minus 3 from the 3 chloride ions. So as we can see, the total charge is the same on both sides, so we have the balanced reaction under acidic conditions. So now we wish to balance it under basic conditions. So what can help us to do that? What do we need to do at this point? At this point, we need to add hydroxide ions to the uh, solution. So the number of hydroxide ions that you need to add is based on the number of H plus ions that you see in a balanced reaction. So we're going to add 24 hydroxide ions to both sides of this equation. So on the left side, 24 H plus plus 24 hydroxides is going to give us 24 water molecules. So we're going to have 8 Fe plus 24 H2O molecules. And then everything else is going to be the same. But on the right side, we're going to have uh, an extra 24 hydroxide ions. OK. So now, what is the next thing that we need to do? What's our next step? Notice that we have water on both sides. So we're going to subtract both sides by the smaller of these two values. So 12 is smaller than 24. So we're going to subtract both sides by 12 H2O molecules. So on the, left, on the right side, H2O is going to disappear completely. So now we can write our final answer. So it's going to be 8. Fe plus 12 H2O plus 3 perchlorate ions, which yields 8 Fe3 plus cations, plus 3 chloride ions, and then plus 24 hydroxide ions. So now it's balanced. This is our final uh, balanced reaction on a basic condition. So we can see that we have 8 iron atoms on both sides, 
here we have 3 times 4, 12 oxygen atoms, plus 12 here, and we have 24 oxygen atoms and the 24 hydroxide ions, and we have 3 chlorine atoms on both sides, and 12 times 2 is 24 hydrogen atoms. So the number of atoms are the same. Now let's check the net charge. The net charge on the left side is 3 times negative 1, so it's negative 3. On the right side, we have 8 times 3, which is plus 24, which cancels with the negative 24 from the 24 hydroxide ions. And we have a negative 3 charge from the 3 chloride ions. So the number of atoms and the charges are the same. So this is it. This is the final answer.